in chapter four, right? Mm -hmm. number line now the tertiary number line can also be addressed like this uh, one two three circle of thirds. So this is true for all the tertiary, the tertiary number line and the circle of thirds are the exact same thing. Just two different ways of viewing it, that's all. So D, A, F sharp. So what do we have in our tertiary number line? What, what's the, what's the two, what are their closest connectors? D, F, A. D, F, A. So what do we got here? Some kind of D chord, right? So on D, what's the D major scale? D, E, F, F sharp. sharp, oh bingo, G, A, B, C sharp, D, right? Mm -hmm. So D is your root, right? Let me take a different color pen. Here's your root, there's your root, there's your fifth, and there's your third, right? So the chord's in root position because the lowest note's a root, right? And the other ones, it doesn't really matter so much. But okay. I was kind of confused about that. Because, like, if the five and the three are switched, it's okay? Yeah, it always is based on that. On the lowest note? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, for inversions, yeah. So this um, would be, like, a D chord in its root position. Yeah, so this doesn't, it's not, this doesn't have a key. Like number three would be a D root position major, right? Yeah. Okay. How about number 10? What's number 10? Wait, so it's chord number three done? Chord number three is a D. Yeah. The, the so root's D. So it's in root position? Yeah. Position, root, and then the type, major. And then in A major, it would just be a four chord, right? Exactly. Yeah. And then in G major, it would be a what? So how would I write like the four chord for the analog and analysis symbol? Just the Roman numeral four. 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 So D root position major, so an A major would be a four. Now. You could write, you know, the intervals, but just root position four.
Okay, more questions on that exercise, anything? So does it matter that the F sharp is at the top and the A is in between? No, because this is the, this is the basis right here. It's root oh. position. Wait, so then how is, for chord number one, why is the root C if the bottom note is G? Because the letters are... The spelling. The spelling? Yeah, so chord number one, we got this, right? E, yeah. E, C, G. Seems up there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see. So you got this spelling. You got E, E, C, G. So this falls here on this tertiary number line. The spelling spells Isn't out. Isn't the bottom note E? Oh wait, you did, yeah. No, G. Wait. G. Yeah, that makes sense. Which, which one is uh, The first one. G. G and then oh. D. Yeah. G of G. Yeah. Let's take a trouble cup real quickly. So the spelling is where you go pitch inventory. So you want to find out, okay, those that's our pitch inventory. Mm -hmm. Does it match up to here? Yeah, C, E, G. It's a C chord. Right? Oh, okay. But it's just flipped. But what's in the base? The fifth. Okay, that's why it's in the second of the key. Right. Okay, that makes sense. So in the key of in the key of F, no, in the key of G, an example, the key of G goes like this. asking for the key of G, right? Yeah. It'd be the 464 four chord. Okay, now what's 6 4 mean? Because it's in the yeah. second inversion. Mm -hmm. Second inversion, right. So first inversion is 6, right? Mm -hmm. Second inversion is 6 4. What's third inversion? X root. <laughs> you can't have one for a triad, right? Mm -hmm. It's only two inversions on a triad, right? Root position, first inversion, second inversion, right? If you have a second version, you have to have a four note chord, right? Now that is the limit of that te that terminology because they don't have it, they don't have really a terminology for five note chords, but they do in jazz, right? What are they called in jazz? What we do every day. Slash chords, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Or even further, if you have like elevenths and thirteenth chords, those are called usually poly chords. Mm -hmm. Like in jazz, if you have this symbol, that means B with an F sharp in the bass, right? But if you have this symbol, that's a D triad on top of an F sharp triad. That's called a polychord. So that line that means that's in the bass. This means there's two chords. I do have a question though. I'm working through chapter three 
and I've got to the point with the <laughs> instrument and transposition and everything. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Did I assign chapter three? I don't think I assigned chapter three. Is it on the list? We've been doing. Well, it has like the majors and the, the intervals. Yeah. I don't think I assigned the transposition of the instruments. Okay. Mm -hmm. so we're skipping that. Because they're throwing that subject in way too early. In the, it's 3.11. Okay, because I was like looking through it, trying to like see what else I'll have to get done. And I was like, what is no, this? No, nothing on transpositions or in instruments for this class. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we can get all those 300 pages we can get rid of? 3.11. Because it's like page 381, yeah. 382. Next, next semester, that's for next semester. Yeah. So I just hold on to it? Yeah, because those are going to be for next semester. They throw transpositions to and instruments too early in the in the book, they should put them later. It should be a different semester for that. Did you already do all of them? No, we didn't. Good. Don't. But those, those tunes, yeah, those are important. Somebody emailed me wanted to do some Christmas music. Did you bring some? Oh, um, no. <laughs> do you want to analyze that next time? I can bring it next time. With you? Yeah, the barbershop music. Whatever, I don't know. Is it Christmas, Christmas music? Yeah, the barbershop Christmas music. If you want to do that, we, we could spend some time on that. Okay, I can also make up a reminder. Might as well. It's Christmas, right? Christmas. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Mm -hmm. It's in my car. My shoes. station on Pandora where you're like, I actually love this music, I'm going to listen to this Christmas station. When's our final for this class? Yeah. Monday on 10 o'clock, 9.50. The Monday, the middle section. The what? You know how when in finals you have this like the early oh, meeting, the middle meeting, and then the one? afternoon meeting. So next Monday, the fourth. Yeah. Okay. From like nine forty-five till. Nine fifty to twelve thirty-five is what they list in the catalog. Okay. When is my chem? When is your chemistry class? Right before this. It might be literally the seven a.m. Jesus oh, Christ! Yeah, they, oh my God. No. they got a lot of 
the finals are thrown at 7 a.m. This weekend's and I, I don't see anything after 3 o'clock either. It's like, why don't you schedule them at 4 o'clock? It's because what they have is um, if there's any classes past 4 o'clock. You get it at your normal. Yeah, you go in and take the final at the normal scheduled time. So, like, if you have a class at, like, 3.30 to 5 on a... Um, on Monday, Wednesday, that first Monday, you meet with that you meet with that class and you take your final then. I have to, I have to be here for the seven a.m. final too, though. Oh man, why? For which class? That's like you got to go to bed at like nine o'clock at night. Dude, I have a class before. Uh, which one? Uh, orchestra. Oh, man. The 7 a.m. one. No, please. But I think it's like stage management or something. Right. Mm -hmm. And there's only three of us in the class, so he's probably not gonna, it's probably not going to be that difficult of a final. And uh, some professors, if they don't have very long ones, they'll move it down to like 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, then you run to the risk of people being not able to finish. You know? Okay, here we go. So let's now analyze this one. First of all, what are we looking at? Key and time signature. So what keys do we have available here? G. G major. G major or? E minor. What? E minor. E minor, right? So we got G major, right? Or E minor, right? Mm -hmm. One of the two. So then, once we know that, then you can start figuring out what the chords are. So let's do our pitch inventory. What do we got here? G, 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 D. D. So what do we got? We got that, right? So it's, this is the key here. If you want a shorthand version, it's this. You should, you should do the circle of thirds, because it's the same thing in a circle. If you have a shirt, set it on there. Okay, so it's some kind of G chord, right? Mm -hmm. What's the lowest note in the chord? Mm -hmm. G. The G, right? Mm -hmm. So what does that mean? It's a root position. Root position, right? So we call that a, just a one chord, right? Mm -hmm. Now, root positions do have numbers that you can add, but nobody ever uses them. Nobody ever does it. It's Wait, is that what we're putting in, like, the one, two, three, four? Yep. Put the yep. Yeah. What the chord number? One. Okay, what about the next one? What's the pitch inventory? A, A E C. A E C, right? So here we got this, right? Some kind of A chord, right? Yeah. So what's the lowest note in the chord? A. A. So. A. C. E so and the key of G. It's a tape, it's a what chord is that in the key of G? So the G scale, you got the G scale here, right? G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, right? So the chord built on the two is a two chord, right? So it's a two something, two minor, right? Yeah. Yeah. So for this, you just want to put a two, right? Do we put an uppercase two because it's a minor? Well, yeah, since it's more traditional in this book, practice traditional. it's traditional to do that. Okay. You can tell my background in the jazz world that we just put big no Roman numeral two. Roman numeral two. They, the jazz, they would go like this. So, no confusion whatsoever, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so now the next one, what do we got for the pitch inventory? F, A. F, A. D, A. D, A, okay. But it's an F sharp, right? So the key of G, 
It's an inversion, first first inversion, right? Yeah. So what's the terminology for first inversion? Uh, six. Right. So yeah. it, what what chord is it in the key? It's a five, it's right? Six. Jesus is five. Okay, I thought we were yeah. the F for a second. Got it. Yep. Back when I was going to Big Grove School of Music, we used to have a, one of those big office steel chrome coffee makers in the class. Nice. With styrofoam cups. Mm -hmm. People would str straggle in off the freeway. Oh. <laughs> Pitch inventory. Well, that should be easy, right? Yeah, root position, right? Okay, what's the next one? teaching this stuff for so long that when I write a note wrong, I just think to myself, God, man, what is wrong with me today? <laughs> yeah, so stupid. Anyway. <laughs> so what do we got here? Same thing, right? Yeah. So it's a what, what position? Um, root. Root, right? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, so the next one. Oh, because okay, yeah, no, I see it, now I see it, because <laughs> it's A C E, and then yeah, okay, too late. Root, and then second, second, first, and then E. Okay, got it. <laughs>
So what's the next one? Uh, D. D. A. 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 F sharp. F. A. M sharp. A. Right. Yeah. So, what's the spelling? Pichimitori spells. D. F. Sharp. A. Right. Five chord. Right. So it's a five. What's in the bass? D. That's the root position, right? Mm -hmm. What about the next one? Uh, G. G, B, G. G, G, no. G, G, G. We don't have a third in that chord. Or we don't have a fifth in that chord, do we? No. Mm -hmm. But we can still guess that it's a, it's a G chord, right? Yeah. Because we're in the key of G. We already established the sound of the G chord a couple times, right? Here yeah. and here and here three times. Yep. And then that, I mean, it could be a, an E minor, EGB, but there's no E in the chord, so we toss that out. The GB, there's no D in the chord, but D has been prepared, right? Mm -hmm. So you, acoustically, you kind of will hear that D still mm -hmm. ring a little bit. So we can just still get, we can guess that it's a one chord. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about this chord? B. 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 This is the what? B. 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 So what's the spelling? What's pitch inventory? G B D, right? Mm -hmm. So, but the what's in the base? B. Which is the third, right? Yeah. So B in the base on a G chord is the first inversion, right? Yep. So it's a one. So it's a five. six, right? Mm -hmm. So you always go to your pitch inventory first, then you check spelling against the tertiary number line to see if you can make a chord out of it. Step by step process. Mm Yeah, that's good.